I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the state of law enforcement in 2016. According to the Washington Post, um, officers fatally shot in the line of duty is up 56% from last year. Nearly one in three officers fatally shot this year have been a result of an ambush attack. Law enforcement, as it struggles to make sense of what's really going on, um, has come up to, some people have blamed the amount of guns on the street as a problem. Others have suggested that it's a deadly combination of mentally ill people with, um, with guns. Others feel that, you know, officers are just being demonized. And all of these points have some validity. However, based upon my experience as a retired chief of police, I'd suggest that the results is, is more of a result of strategic drift or mission drift from law enforcement. According to Sir Robert Peel, the ability for police services to function appropriately in the performance of their duties requires the public's approval of law enforcement's actions. I suggest law enforcement in America has lost the public's trust, and this is precisely why we're seeing the disturbing, rapidly uh, rising trend of officer uh, ambush attacks. So what are some of the solutions? Uh, law enforcement can begin viewing taxpayers as stakeholders. Honestly, they can evaluate the reputation of law enforcement as a whole and get away from their self-deceived position that everybody trusts law enforcement when it doesn't. They can begin to self-police correctly. And in other words, they can quit excusing bad behaviors of the few cops and, and take care of them from an internal side. And they can start enforcing the code of ethics within from within law enforcement itself. With every administrative decision or policy, administrators have got to start asking a simple question before implementing any action. How is this action going to consistently earn the public's trust? If they can answer that in a positive way where it shows that they can earn the public's trust with that policy, it's a good policy. If they can't, they should ignore it and delete it. And that is how I believe law enforcement is going to earn the public's trust once again. Happy New Year's, everybody. Thank you for all you do. Stay safe out there so that everybody goes home safely to their loved ones at the end of the shift. Have a great New Year.